the lovely Elizabeth Perkins, everybody. <laughs> Singing since I, I've been the singing beginning. a lot tonight. <laughs> singing a lot, doing that stuff. I know. I don't know. Why it's, I'm feeling a bit weird because it's Friday the Thirteenth. Are you superstitious? I'm highly superstitious. Are you really? I'm highly superstitious because weird stuff happens to me. <laughs> Seriously, weird, 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 weird stuff, stuff happens, happens to me. You? Okay, first of all, there's people that live in my house. Yeah, your family. <laughs> my old house that I just sold in Hancock Park, which is a really, really old, turn of the century, Spanish place. Right. We would constantly hear that. I have occasionally heard it here. Occasionally. <laughs> but, but alone, Not as many as those. Uh, no, no, like, no. There's, like there's cracking sound. Like. Right. And at first, I, only, I was the only one who heard it, and then I was like, oh, yeah, my mom's you know, losing her mind. And then my husband heard it, and then my daughter heard it. So finally, I called a psychic. And oh, she of said. So. You called somebody else first? <laughs> well, no, first I had, first I had them check the uh, foundation, I had them check the walls, I had them do all that stuff. Right. And then finally, I called a psychic. And she said, Well, when you hear that, that's a spirit trying to break through to the next plane. Really? For real. For real. Don't you for so, real me, is well, it? <laughs> thought I was nuts, right? So we finally sell the house. Literally the day we're pulling out of the driveway with the stuff in the moving van and we're pulling out of the driveway. The real estate agent is walking up the driveway. Right. As she gets to the front gate, all the outside lights exploded. And I have proof of this. I was not alone. Really? Who, who? Other people and they saw it too. Uh, it just exploded. All the glasses all exploded. The gla all the, stuff all the exterior exploded? lights rained down on top of the real estate agent. She got a huge commission. I'll bet. <laughs> Did, did you, so I believe in this stuff. What you believe in ghosts and ghoulies and stuff like that? Totally. Oh my goodness. Completely. Are you? Are you? Uh, are you? Do you, do you do astrology and all that? Do you do the the Ouija board and everything? You know, I. You know what I study? I study Jungian dream analysis. Ah, now you're talking my I language. Totally yes, yes. I like the Jungian yes. dream analysis. I do. Much better than the Freudian dream analysis. Freud's all about sex. It's it gets ridiculous. boring. It's ridiculous. I'm too old for that crap. Like for example, in Jungian dream analysis, the spider represents the mother. And a uh, house represents the self. Oh, right. And what does Spider-Man represent? <laughs> yeah, forget it. Yeah, someone has lost their mind. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, sp spider in the house, what, what else then? Uh, well, you know what's interesting? What? Because you're from Scotland. Where I are you am. from in Scotland? From Glasgow in Scotland. Are you? Oh, yeah. well, never mind. <laughs> um, I've been having reoccurring dreams since I was a little girl about Scotland. Really? About the Scottish Highlands. Really? I, have you ever been there? No. That's the thing. Never well, how, how do you know it's the Scottish Highlands I you're dreaming well, about? I took me a long, it took me a long time to figure out where this was. Well, how do you know? Black Cliffs, cause, because I've gone online, looked at every picture of every abbey, every church, right. every old ruin, the, you know, the Easter stones, mm -hmm. all the Celtic art. And yeah, I discovered, it's all there. I just got, it's all there. Yeah. I discovered that I have been dreaming about the Scottish Highlands. Well, why don't you go? Because I'm too busy shooting weeds. Oh. <laughs> well, you're premiering on Monday. Yeah, premiering on Monday on Showtime. <laughs> no, I think you should go. You should go see it. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like when people say, you know, what are your top five places you want to go? My right. first place is the Scottish Highlands. Well, you got money. Come on. They I got know, money. Go. Get out there. Gotta, you yeah. sold the house. You made a commission. You sold, sold your haunted house. house. Exactly. Yeah. I sold my haunted Did house. You, is your new house haunted, by the way? No, I no. bought one of those brand new places out in the valley. Oh, but did they move the headstones and not move the bodies? Exactly. Maybe. Maybe. I know. You know, it could be an old Indian burial ground. You don't know. You don't know yeah. what you're living on. It could yeah. be like Poltergeist. Did so. you like that movie, The Poltergeist? I love it. I love scared anything me. scary. Do you really? I, love I don't like scary. being scared. Like the movie The Others? That was a petrifying movie. I never that saw it. That was a really scary movie. I'm never going to see it now. You see it? It's that Nicole Kidman. It's got Nicole, Kidman. Nicole Kidman? But I, you know what I'm petrified of? Yeah, what? Flying. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not, not a good I, I was terrified of that. I have to take Ativan and Valium. I've taken them, but I... I, I, I. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm frightened of being in this bar. I'm so nervous about things. I'm going to have to 
to stand up and walk yeah. out. Uh oh, what's uh. happening next? No, I kind of weep when we take off, and I sort of wow, weep really? when we land. I don't. I, I I have a healthy uh, fear of flying, but I, you know, I'm studying to be a pilot now. You know that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I. You know, I'm frightened of flying, but only when I'm flying. Are you I'm flying, flying on your own? I do, yeah, yeah, I do Like, fly you get in, take off, Well, fly I use around, a plane, I don't just, like, jump around. <laughs> you, know. you do it all by yourself? I do it all by myself, yeah, yeah. Not all the time, I don't do, like, I mean, I mean I'm just a baby, I'm a beginner, so I get to fly around the airport and land again. Uh, you know, my brother-in-law builds his own planes. Really? Yeah, you should What a fantastic and thing to do. And flies them around all by himself. He actually built a plane and then flew it from Los Angeles to the East Coast. What did he build? A DC-10? I don't know. I think, I think it's a propeller plane. It makes stops along the way. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he's, he's, you know, he's confident enough to take along his five-year-old son. I think, I, well, I think if and you built the plane cool. yourself, it would make you more confident because you would know where all the... I won't go up with him, though. Well, that's, no. you don't like flying. I, I understand like that. But it's an excuse to take some, you know... It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, my sister was... Uh, my sister and my brother-in-law were members of the National Skydiving Team. That, see, they that jump out know. of airplanes. No, you don't, yeah. see, you don't jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Just sit in it until it lands. <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> it will land, you know. Like, oh, got to get hurt to the ground. No, no, you don't. Have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> he actually jumps into caves. Well, that's just stupid. <laughs> you know, like, like Mexico, they have those caves. Yeah, that base jumping cave thing. And then he yeah. climbs back out. Oh, that's just nonsense. My sister, my, my sister was in the, uh, the largest all-girl nude skydiving. <laughs> you have my attention. You see? Yeah, it's not mine. What is that falling it's out of the... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Good old dude, naked ladies falling out of the sky. We're completely out of time, but Weeds is on uh, June the 14th? 16th. Absolutely, that's what I meant. June the 16th. Elizabeth Perkins, everybody, we'll be right back. She's a big star is what I meant to say, but I'm just, I'm shy because she's so lovely and I'm excited about her coming out. She's on the show Weeds, which is on Showtime. It's a cable channel. And uh, <laughs> the season premiere. Please welcome the lovely Elizabeth Perkins, everybody. Elizabeth Perkins. You look very nice. Thank you. You, look, you know what you look like? You look a bit like a, a, a Bond girl. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm kind of going for that look Yeah, this the boots season. and the... Do you, ever, do you ever wear that outfit and go scuba diving? No, I just... I, <laughs> you scuba dive, I do a little you? bit, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you do that. Well, that you put on scuba equipment me. and then go over the side of the boat. Hey, Presto, no, you're there. No, no. Anything underwater and anything way up high. I have mortal fear of heights. I don't... And you like sharks, too, don't you? Well, I, I don't like them. You like, like that them, Shark you know? Week thing, though, I do right? like Shark Week, yeah. Don't you like Shark Week on the Discovery? No, it's hard. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I love watching it, but I heard that you dive, and I don't know how you would want to dive. Oh, sharks. no, I like that diving. It's about like... night diving. Can't beat it. No, but, you know, I'm so afraid of heights that, um, did I ever tell you much about the suspension bridge in Vancouver? No. Let me know about the Capilano suspension bridge in Vancouver. It's like the Dude, longest. these guys, these, a lot of these okay, people don't speak English. Okay, seriously, <laughs> uh, my family dared me to cross the suspension bridge, even though they know I'm morally afraid of heights. Well, walk across? Yeah, it's really long. It's literally like a half a mile, I swear. And I got across the bridge, and I was like, see, I did it, I did it, I'm strong. And what I didn't know is that when you get across the bridge, you're on an island, and the only way... It is back is by helicopter? Back. No, it's to go... <laughs> you have to walk back He's across so the... cute. Thank you very much, Nick. Um, the only way... I like, did that again, did it again. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You help yourself. Go on. Have you a good run. You're like on my top five list. Oh. He's on my top five. Top five. But you're a happily married woman. Yeah, and you're happily married too. Yes, 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 I am. So what does what's it mean you can't have a list? All right. So what's, what's the list? Tell me about the list. I like the list. And who else is on it? And what's my position? Um, <laughs> I think you're fourth. Fourth? I might up you to third, but now you can Hey, what if I do this? Other. Hey. Well, then I'll do, I'll do the listening um, face as well. You're on it. Uh, Dave... Ma <laughs> you're on it. Dave Matthews is on it. Dave Matthews? Dave Matthews. All right. Eddie Vedder is on it. 
right? Um, Jeff Bridges is on it. Okay, yeah. And yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis and you. But maybe oh, you know. before Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, you must be crazy. Daniel Day-Lewis is adorable. He's got to be number one. <laughs> I think it's more his acting. His, his acting is yeah. very, he's very good at acting, but actually as a person, a complete... Uh, I don't know anything about him. No, he, yeah, if you ever meet him, you'd be like, oh, no, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> I've never met him, so, but I doesn't I, I just try, I'm trying to get higher on the list, basically, yeah. is what I'm doing. Well, now that you've had me on the show, well, All right. Um, but so, the suspension bridge. So. But wait, wait, what is the list, though? <laughs> what happens on the list? Is, did your husband no, yeah, know about like, the list? No, I just put people out like, oh, yeah. All right. He's on my list. <laughs> I'm sure my husband has a list. I know Cindy Crawford's on his list. All right. Do you know who's on my list? What? On, you, of course. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Beyonce. Really? <laughs> that explains the rattlesnake. Oh man. Did <laughs> Sorry, you see? That's a bad joke. That was really bad. <laughs> Sorry. It, it, I don't know if it's bad. It's just kind of. No. Like, you got no. <laughs> no. So the suspension bridge. Oh, the suspension bridge, right. Oh, there's you, terrified so on the island. How will I get off? Right, right, right. Well, so I get about halfway across the bridge, and I caved. What I did you do? I just threw myself down, spread eagle, screaming. You, I had to be removed by security. <laughs> in, front of, in front of my whole family, they had to come and get me. That's bad, especially because it really it's in Vancouver. Bad, and there. there was a lot of people, and then some people recognized me as me because I was filming in town, and... It may have made the paper. I, it was... Were you a little... Uh, no, I wasn't. Maybe a little... No, I just play one on television. All right. Do you... I mean, you don't smoke the... Uh, the, the uh, no. When no? I was younger, yeah. I, I did no. too, but I don't... That doesn't appeal to me. I just get now, weird, yeah. and then I think, you know, the police are outside, and... <laughs> I know people say, it's like, oh, pot is such an adolescent drug, and you think, yeah, as opposed to what, cocaine, which right, is a grown-up exactly. drug? I mean, yeah, what the exactly. heck is that? They're all it's adolescent true, yeah, drugs, aren't exactly. they? exactly. Yeah. No, as a matter of fact, I haven't even smoked pot as my character on the show. My character's never smoked marijuana. Yeah, well, you, your character on the show is quite... Uh, uh, She's done everything else. Yeah, yeah. But not And not in that pot. scene, you're, you're kidnapped, and no one wants yes, to rescue you. Yes, I was kidnapped you. in that scene, and nobody offers to pay my ransom. I know. <laughs> but... You have the advantage of having a sexy, friendly kidnapper. I do, ah. and actually I kind of woo my way into his arms, so... I, I can see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. But people think our show is really far-fetched. What, the show about uh, weeds? About weeds, yeah. Because well, that's the show about uh, uh, a woman, a Who widow... sells pot to, sells pot to, make to raise her children. It might have been far-fetched in 1999 when I wrote no. it as a movie, but... but, well, yeah, but when, uh, I know. But, but we have no. you to thank for that. Yeah, we totally yeah, have you to yeah. thank for that. I love that movie. Saving, you like that movie? Saving Grace. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wrote that movie. You covered it, and you were yeah. in it, too. Yeah, I'm going to sue your ass, actually, good, now as I think about it. <laughs> No, uh, but they think it's far-fetched. That well, the pot's kind it's of... not not in Southern California. I think if you live somewhere else, you might say, oh, "Okay, it's a little far-fetched." But, like for example, I live in the San Fernando Valley, and in my neighborhood alone, in, in Sherman Oaks, don't there see your are... neighborhood. Oh my God! <laughs> Tell anyone. There are oh, in the San Fernando Valley alone. There's 173 marijuana dispensaries. Really. Medical, medical, medical marijuana, marijuana yeah. dispensaries, 173. Yeah, it's that's a, like one on every block. I mean, when you think about it, right? That, that, that's a lot of people. Yeah. And, and if you think about how many people are growing marijuana as the providers, that's what they're called, the dispensaries and the. But you providers. have to have a license to grow it. Don't you, you have to have a license, right. absolutely. But think about how much pot is being grown in the state of California. Uh, probably quite a that's lot. That's a lot of yeah, pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a lot. So of pot. It, it's. Uh, I'm sure that there's a housewife somewhere who's got a license, who's growing pot and selling it. It doesn't seem that far fetched to me at no, all. No, no, it's not that far fetched at all. But it also yeah. explains why all the teenagers in the valley are so high all the time. They're not. They're not. So I have high. four teenagers. I'm not saying a word. Really. <laughs> Do you ever go to their rooms and hear them listening to, I don't know, what, do they listen to Pink Floyd? Do people still listen to Pink Floyd? Yeah, as a matter of oh, fact, Oh, Pink do. Floyd, <laughs> oh. True. Oh, boy, you're really out there, Grandpa, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you play The Wizard of Oz and the Pink oh, Floyd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever try, the only one I ever tried was uh, getting a clapper uh, hooked up to a light and then playing the Beatles' White Album. Oh, really? I oh, that's that. intense, that? yeah. <laughs> really? Stop, so, uh, yeah. That's oh, the craziest crazy. thing I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. I, I just made it up. Is that up. for real? No. <laughs> I made it up. It's I a lie. I can tell. Yeah. We're completely out of time. The lovely Elizabeth Perkins, everybody. We'll be right back. 
tell you what else we learned. We learned that I'm on Elizabeth Perkins' list. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, and we learned...